You want the best way to bring even the most complicated keyboard shortcuts to your phone or tablet in a simple and visually appealing way? Want to mirror your Star Citizen MFDs directly in the manufacturer's look and always call up the right function without fiddling around? Then you've come to the right place because we're taking a detailed look at the latest Game Glass version, all its features, and in particular, how you can quickly and easily perfect your Star Citizen workflow. Does this sound familiar? You're flying through the verse when suddenly a red contact pops up and you're under fire. You need to activate your shields, fire countermeasures, and adjust your power distribution at lightning speed. Instead, you fumble around, desperately searching for the right key combination while your ship is being torn apart. This is the keybinding hell of Star Citizen. Hundreds of functions, hidden behind complex keyboard shortcuts or buried deep in the MFD menus. This completely breaks the immersion and costs you valuable seconds in critical situations. But what if there was a solution that not only alleviates this problem, but completely eliminates it? A solution that brings your ship's MFDS directly to you on your tablet or smartphone. After several years of intensive practical testing, we are now certain that Game Glass is the solution. It transforms your tablets or smartphones into tactile cockpit interfaces, turning Star Citizen and a multitude of other games and applications from a keyboard fiddle into a real spaceship experience, and that in an officially licensed Star Citizen look. But of course, it's a premium solution, because as we'll explain later, Game Glass isn't free but it is the only premium solution. Game Glass is essentially a second or multi-screen solution, but it's so much more than just an additional monitor with touch functionality for information. It's an interactive control system that has been specially developed for a wide variety of games, including Star Citizen. The magic happens via the Game Glass Hub software on your PC, which connects seamlessly to the mobile app on your tablet or smartphone, whether iOS or Android. The biggest advantage? Tactile control without constantly switching between mouse, keyboard, and joystick. Instead of clicking through menus, you simply tap intuitively arranged buttons, sliders, and switches on your touchscreen. Not only does it feel better, it's significantly faster. The learning curve is surprisingly flat. After a few minutes, you get used to the positioning of the most important buttons, and after an hour, you have developed the muscle memory that you would otherwise only know from physical switches. The direct haptic feedback through vibration further enhances this effect and creates a connection between action and reaction that pure keyboard inputs can never achieve. At the heart of it all are the so-called shards. These are pre-built but fully customizable control panels created by the Game Glass community and the development team. For Star Citizen, there are specialized shards for virtually every activity, from mining to space combat to salvaging. Each shard is regularly adapted to game updates, a decisive advantage over homemade solutions. The quality of the official shards is consistently high. Clear icons, logical groupings, and intuitive color coding ensure that you can find the right button immediately, even under stress. The community shards also offer creative solutions for special playstyles or niche functions that are not covered in the standard shards. These shards are visually appealing, with the animations and haptic feedback that feel like part of the game. And for those who like things to be completely customized, there's the Forge Editor. This is a visual editor that allows you to create your own layouts without any programming knowledge. Simply drag the desired components, whether buttons, switches, or displays, onto a canvas and assign them the appropriate key commands or macros. The editor offers amazing depth. You can not only assign simple keystrokes, but also program complex macro sequences that execute multiple actions in succession. For example, a quantum travel button that automatically activates the drive, sets the destination point, and initiates the jump. The customization options range from simple color changes to completely custom graphics for buttons. For advanced users, there is even conditional logic. Buttons that can change their appearance or function based on game states. You can then share these creations with the community, creating a huge library of ever-growing layouts. Game Glass is not just a tool, it is a platform that is constantly evolving and taking the gaming experience to a whole new level. But let's get to the actual practical test for Star Citizen. Let's start with the general handling. Everything that happens outside of the actual combat. Flight ready, hangar communication, chat, and maps. These are functions that you need all the time, but never have ready when you need them. Just tap the flight ready button, ATC, or the map, and your ship is ready for takeoff. You get your takeoff or landing clearance, or the map opens. No more tedious key combinations, clicking through the Mobiglass or searching for the right F key. The ability to save frequently used chat messages as macros is particularly handy. So instead of typing good morning every time, 
just tap a predefined button. And these small time savings add up to noticeable efficiency gains over the course of a game session. Communication with hanger control? Create a separate button for it. Instead of tediously scrolling through the communication radials, it's right there, opening the map, setting waypoints, using the chat, everything is located on separate, clearly labeled panels. The biggest advantage here is that it no longer interrupts the flow of the game. You no longer have to search for the mouse or think about which key is responsible for hanger control. These may seem like minor details, but they add up enormously over the course of a gaming session. But where Game Glass really shines is in space combat, mining or salvaging. Here, what is often a hectic minigame becomes a calm, precise control experience. In the special mining shard, you have all the relevant options at your fingertips. Switching modes, using modules, scanning, and, of course, dropping cargo. The salvaging shard is even more exciting, because here, we can also make all the fine adjustments to the lasers, distance, the alignment of the individual salvaging heads, right down to individual modules, everything is included. Controlling the ablation laser and subsequent processing is smooth and easy. You keep your hands on the hotas, your eyes on the main screen, and operate the special functions tactilely. Not only does this feel more efficient, it is more efficient. But of course, one of the most important areas is still missing, space combat, especially under pressure. Every second counts here. The decisive advantage here lies in parallel processing. We have all the important controls of our ship and the MFDS on one or more displays, directly and clearly arranged in one place. This includes shields, energy, countermeasures, flight modes, landing gear, V, TOL, decoupled, and more, to name just a few functions. This multitasking approach is clearly superior, of course, because you don't have to constantly switch back and forth between controls and system management. The tactile nature of the controls also allows for blind operation. After a little practice, you know the position of the most important buttons by feel and no longer have to look at the tablet. This is especially crucial in hectic dogfights, where every glance away from the main screen can be fatal. Firing countermeasures has never been so fast. Even more impressive is the shield and energy distribution. Instead of laboriously scrolling through the MFDEs, you simply slide your finger to direct energy to the weapons, shields, or engines. It's not an extra step. It's a more direct input method. This brings us to system management. Switching power modes, turning components on and off, configuring scanner systems, these are all tasks that normally take time. With Game Glass, they become part of active flight. Perhaps the most underrated advantage, however, is immersion. The feeling of actually operating switches in the cockpit instead of pressing buttons is remarkable. The haptic feedback from the tablets, combined with the visual and acoustic signals from the shards, which are already available under license for Aegis, Anvil and Drake, creates a feeling of presence in the ship. It feels more like you're flying a spaceship. The game feels calmer, more controlled and ultimately more immersive. After a few hours with game glass shards, returning to the keyboard for standard actions feels almost primitive. And, of course, the shards are constantly being expanded and automatically adapted to new game versions. But let's take a look at the technical requirements. The good news is that they are surprisingly low. The Game Glass app runs on just about any reasonably modern tablet or smartphone. Officially, iOS 12.0 or newer, Android devices and macOS 11.0 or newer are supported. Even older devices such as an iPad Air 2 or a Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e run without any problems. The app is slimmed down and optimized and uses hardly any battery power. The only important thing is a stable Wi-Fi connection between your PC and tablet. The PC system requirements are also minimal. A multi-core processor and 4GB of RAM are sufficient. The software runs smoothly in the background alongside Star Citizen and is, of course, licensed. So there's no need to worry about being detected as cheat software, which can be an issue with other tools. Even an older iPad or an Android tablet that's not exactly brand new lying around at home will be perfectly adequate for this. The Game Glass hub on your gaming PC does most of the work, while the mobile app is kept lean. But what about latency? After all, everything runs over Wi-Fi. In practice, the delay is almost immeasurable. Commands are processed locally on the network, not routed over the internet. As long as your Wi-Fi connection is stable, you won't notice any noticeable lag. Input feels instantaneous, even during critical combat actions. A huge advantage is the multi-device support. You can easily use multiple tablets or phones at the same time. Imagine this, one tablet on the left for system management and shields, a second on the right for communication and maps. This is the dream of every immersion seeker and technically completely feasible. The hub software automatically recognizes the devices and you simply assign different shards to them. The initial setup is pleasingly straightforward compared to previous versions. Download Game Glass Hub for Windows from the website, install it and launch the software. Then download the free app from the App Store or Google Play Store onto your mobile device. Both devices must be on the same network. The app automatically searches for the hub, you confirm the connection and you're done.
you'll be up and running in a matter of minutes. The pre-configured shards for Star Citizen are ready to use right away. The real effort isn't in the technology, but in customizing the panels to your personal preferences. However, this isn't a must, but an option that you can use gradually. And for those familiar with earlier versions, you don't have to create profiles in the game. The key configuration is completely automatic. The question everyone asks, isn't there a free version? The answer is yes and no, because there are some crucial differences. The biggest competitors are Touch Portal and Stream Deck Mobile, for example. Touch Portal is the flexible solution and, so to speak, a programmable keyboard on a touchpad. However, you have to assign the appropriate keys to the functions and then also do this in the game. There is no automation here, so it requires a comparatively high amount of DIY and configuration effort, especially since the visuals naturally cannot keep up. In contrast, GameGlass scores with high-quality, ready-to-use shards for dozens of games, which in many cases can even display game telemetry. Stream Deck Mobile from Elgato, on the other hand, offers more polish out of the box. It is stable, reliable, and has a large community. The big disadvantage is the limitations in customization. While GameGlass offers special components such as sliders, knobs, and animated displays, Stream Deck is essentially limited to static buttons, making it a digital version of a Steam Deck, and it's not completely free. Price is also a factor. Stream Deck Mobile costs $2.99 per month, or $24.99 per year, with significantly fewer features than GameGlass for this area. We also have some special GameGlass advantages. First, the premium shards. These are professionally designed layouts that are constantly updated, such as the new salvaging shard or the hero components for power and shield management. Second, community sharing. The Forge editor makes it easy to share creations. You don't have to tinker around yourself, but can draw on a huge library of layouts that other players have optimized. Third, the overall polish, the interface, the animations, the feedback, everything is designed to feel like an integral part of the licensed games, not like an external tool. The conclusion of the comparison is clear. Visuals, licensed games, performance, convenience, and time savings are the most decisive factors in favor of GameGlass. Touch Portal is potentially powerful, but it requires a significant time investment and a lot of configuration effort without the sleek visuals. Stream Deck Mobile is simpler, but significantly less flexible and immersive. GameGlass strikes the perfect balance. It offers high quality solutions for immediate use, but at the same time allows for in-depth customization without requiring you to become a programmer. And for simulation fans who value immersion, there's no getting around the premium solution anyway. But GameGlass isn't a one-trick pony that only works in one game. The real strength of the platform is its versatility. So the investment is not only worthwhile for Star Citizen, but also significantly increases the overall benefit. GameGlass also offers official shards with specialized features for other space sims such as Elite Dangerous. The benefits are even more obvious in real flight sims such as Microsoft Flight Simulator or DCS World. Here, GameGlass becomes your personal avionics panel. You can outsource complete control of radio communications, the navigation system, or even complex weapon systems in DCS to the tablet. This includes special panels for Garmin avionics, autopilot control, and checklist processing. But the use cases go far beyond simulators. RPGs such as Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield benefit enormously from quick access panels. Imagine having all your frequently used skills, inventory shortcuts, and fast travel keys on one clear interface. And then there's the hidden feature, macro workflows for general PC operation. The Forge Editor allows you to program not only key commands, but also complex macro sequences. This means you can create panels for frequently used actions outside of the game. In addition, the game library is constantly growing, with new official shards for games such as No Man's Sky, War Thunder, and even strategy titles. You're not buying a tool for one game, but a platform that enhances your entire game library. This makes the monthly investment or lifetime subscription much more attractive. Let's get to the point that is the decisive hurdle for many. The price. GameGlass operates with a free basic model, a subscription model, and a lifetime license. Although the free version of GameGlass is completely free to use, it contains ads and the premium shards are not available. Our recommendation is to try the premium version for $5 for a month and then upgrade to the lifetime version if you want. At just under $200 for the lifetime version, however, this is only worthwhile if you use GameGlass in the long term or for the huge range of supported games. In any case, you should use our code Curlinger or the link in the video description as you can save up to 20% depending on the promotion even on the lifetime version. So the crucial question is, does the gain in efficiency and gaming enjoyment justify the price? Absolutely. 
if comfort, speed, and increased immersion are important to you. Game Glass deliberately positions itself as a premium product for enthusiasts. It's not about being the cheapest solution, but the best, and that's what it is. A comparison with the free alternatives shows that you're paying for polish, support, constant updates, and above all, your own time. For players who want to maximize their limited gaming time without stress, it's a clear trade-off that's worth it. And if the often requested feature of a Star Citizen API for Game Glass is finally implemented, allowing us to get in-game information on our shards, as in other games, that would be another significant improvement for citizens. But what is your opinion on this? Is the premium feel and the benefits worth paying for, or will you stick with alternatives? Let me know. See you soon in the daily Twitch live streams on Discord or in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the verse.